Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk in tutoring five days a week. Welcome to the Anatomy and Physiology 1 tutor short. Muscles Part 2, Abdominal, Interior Trunk and Shoulder, and Pelvic Muscles, given by your tutors Kim Rylander and Laura Heck. This will be the group of muscles we will be focusing on this model. Starting with the pectoralis major, located here, we see that the origin is at the clavicle, sternum, and costal cartilage, located around here. The insertion is between the greater and lesser tubercles of the humerus, located around here. The action is the abduction, flexion, and medial rotation of the humerus. Underneath the pectoralis major is the pectoralis minor, located here. Here we can see that the origin is at ribs 3, 4, and 5, and the insertion is the coracoid process of the scapula. The action is to depress the shoulder by drawing the scapula downward. Here we see a little bit of the deltoid. The origin is the clavicle, acromion process, and spine of the scapula. The insertion is the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. The action is whole muscle abducts the humerus. In part, may flex, rotate, and extend the humerus. External intercostals are located here. They originate from the inferior borders of the ribs, and they will insert into superior borders of the next ribs. The action is to elevate the ribs. The inter intercostals are located here. They originate from the superior border of the ribs to the inferior border of the ribs. The action is to depress the ribs. Here we can see part of the diaphragm located here. The origin is the inferior border of the rib and sternum, costal cartilages of the last six ribs, and the lumbar vertebrae. The insertion is the central tendon. The action is inspiration increases vertical dimensions of thoracic, increases intra-abdominal pressure. We will now look at the abdominal muscles. Here is the rectus abdominis. The origin is the pubic bone. The insertion is the xiphoid process, costal cartilages of ribs 6, 7, and 8. The actions is to compress the abdominal viscera, flex the vertebral column. Here we see the external oblique. The origin is the lower eight ribs. The insertion is linea alba. The action is to compress abdominal viscera and flex the vertebral column. Deep to the external oblique is the internal oblique located here. The origin is the inguinal ligament, iliac crest. The insertion is the lower three ribs, siphoid process, linea alba, and pubis. The action is to compress the abdominal viscera and flex the vertebral column. On this view, you can see the transverse abdominis located here. Its origin is the inguinal ligament, iliac crest, costal cartilages of lower six ribs, and the insertion is the linea alba and pubis. The action is also to compress the abdominal viscera and flex the vertebral column. Here we see the pelvic muscles. Quadratus lumborum is located here. The origin is the iliolumbar ligament and the iliac crest. The insertion is the last rib, the transverse processes of the lower four lumbar vertebrae, and the action is to aid in extending the trunk. Here we see the psoas major. The origin is the lumbar vertebrae. The insertion is the lesser trochanter of the femur. 
The action is flexion of femur and vertebral column. The last pelvic muscle is the iliacus, located here. The origin is the iliac fossa, and the insertion is also the lesser trochanter of the femur. The action is to flex the femur. Thank you for watching. To view any of the models or if you have any questions, please come to the Science Lab in SH150 in the Educational Support Services Center. Thank you.